Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering. We have already discussed about what is actuator, what are different types of actuator. And in this video, we will be discussing about failsafe modes of an actuator. What is basically failsafe modes and what are different types of failsafe modes available in actuator will be detailedly explained in this video. So in this Learn Instrumentation Engineering YouTube channel, you will be learning a lot of basics and fundamentals of industrial instrumentation and control systems latest upgrades and updates which is happening globally in our field and finally a lot of case studies troubleshooting activities and operational and maintenance activities of industrial instrumentation control systems will be shared in this platform so if you are a budding instrument student or instrumentation engineer or even expertise in the field of instrumentation engineering do subscribe to our channel and I am pretty sure that I add more value creation to you. So what is basically a failsafe mode? The position to which the actuator will move the control valve closed member, that is the plug. If a supply, air supply pressure fails or it got interrupted. So this is basically a failsafe mode. So we have different types of failsafe modes. Failsafe open, failsafe close and lock in last position so these are all the different types of failsafe modes available so first let's see what is basically a failsafe open so in this failsafe mode the actuator spring moves the control wall closure member to the open position upon a loss of supply pressure so you could see over here this is the actuator or assembly and we are supplying air in the top of the actuator since it is a direct acting actuator and when we give the air we all know the main principle of an actuator is the pressure force a force balance between the actuator spring and the diaphragm that's how the actuator works so when the gas supply is supplied to the top of the actuator it pushes down the diaphragm the spring in turn pushes the wall plug to closed condition. This is a normal operation of an actuator. Now, the air supply got failed or the air supply got interrupted. So now what happens over here? The actuator should go to the fail safe mode. So the wall should open during a fail safe conditions. So now the air got failed. So automatically the spring retracts to its original position causing the plug to open so this is how your failsafe open actuator works and next is the failsafe close condition what is basically a failsafe close condition the actuator spring moves the control valve closure member to the close position upon loss of supply here so this is basically the vice versa of failsafe open mode so you could see over here this is the actuator and this actuator air is supplied in the bottom of the actuator to open the plug right and when the air supply fails you could see over here there's an into mark when an air supply fails automatically the spring retracts to its original position causing the causing the plug to close you could see over here when the air supply fails, the spring returns to its original position so that the plug gets closed in the control valve body. So this is how your fail-safe close uh, mode works. And finally, we have lock-in lost position. So what is lock-in lost position? We uh, shortly call as LILP. That is fail in place or stay put. So what does uh, happen over here? It holds the final closure membrane in the position that it was just prior to the air supply failure. For example, the control valve is maintained at 60% of valve opening and now the air guard fails. So the lock in lost position will remain in the same 60% open even during the supply failure of air. So how this is achieved? This is achieved by a, a lock-in uh, relay component. So I will detail explain about this lock-in uh, position relay in the next video. 
so we have seen uh, different types of failsafe modes and how does this failsafe mode operate in actuator is also explained in this video so if you really like this video just hit the like button and share to our instrumentation community and if you want to watch such instrumentation and control system videos do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering thank you